Example 69 and 70. Okay, so let's look at example 69. It says, is the following a binomial experiment? Let x represent the number of correct guesses on five multiple choice questions where each question has five answer options. All right, so when you look at this problem, the first thing you want to do then is to run through this list of five characteristics for the binomial random variable. And the characteristics here are going to help us determine if this problem involves a binomial experiment or not. All right, so the first thing we need to check is whether the experiment consists of n identical trials or not. Well, we're going to take guesses on five multiple choice questions, right? And each question has five answer options. So it sounds like each of the trials is identical. We're taking five guesses. So it looks like there's um, a specific number of trials. And in other words, is five here. So step one is met or criteria one is met. Let's go to criteria two. It says there are only two possible outcomes for each trial, success or failure. Well, if we're taking a guess on a question and we're interested in whether we get it correct or incorrect, it seems like there's only two possible outcomes then, right? Either right or wrong, correct or incorrect. So we meet criteria two. Let's look at criteria three. It says the probability of success remains the same from trial to trial. So that says that you know, we have equal chance of guessing correctly on the first question, the second question, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Um, well, since every question has five answer options each, that means every question has a one out of five chance of being guessed correctly, or in other words, there's a 20% chance for every question that we guess it correctly. If they had thrown in like a, a true-false question in the middle of the test here, so we had you know four questions that had five answer options and then one question with only two answer options, that would no longer be um, a, a constant probability of success because on the true-false question, we'd have a 50-50 chance of getting it right or wrong. And so that means that, you know, that one-half probability of guessing correct, the one-half probability would be different from the 20% for the remaining questions. And at that point, we would fail to meet criteria three. But in this case, we do have five answer options for all five questions. So that means every question has the same probability of being guessed correct. Therefore, we meet criteria three. All right, now look at criteria four. It says the trials are independent, right? So the trials are independent basically says that, you know, one guess does not affect another's guess's likelihood of uh, being correct. And I think that's correct, right? If we were to take a guess on the first question, if we're just Christmas treeing, we're not even reading the questions, we're just taking random guesses, I don't see how one question could affect the other question's likelihood of being correct. So the trials seem to be independent. And lastly, um, step five, it just says we should have a variable x that counts the number of successes. In this case, we're looking for the number of correct guesses. We'll define a success as a correct guess here. And so, yes, it looks like x represents the number of those successes. So it looks like this problem involves a binomial experiment. So we'll say, for example, 69, yes, it's a binomial experiment. All right, good. So let's tackle question 70 now. For question 70, we're going to have to um, you know, move away from this because question 70 is just saying, hey, given this binomial experiment, derive the probability distribution for the problem. And again, let x represent the number of correct guesses on five multiple choice questions where each question has five answer options. So we're just taking this problem now. We're trying to list the probability that out of five guesses, we get none of them right. Out of five guesses, we get one right. Out of five guesses, we get two right, so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to do next for example 70. 